Welcome back to Web2.0.tv. I'm Kimberly Dykeman, and again, we are bringing live to you the Future of Television East Conference here in New York City. Uh, we get a chance to meet some of the big decision makers in technology and media and entertainment. We've got one more gentleman to my right, Mr. Budkovsky. Oh, crud. Andrew Budkovsky. <laughs> Gosh, I want to call you Jason. Well, I'm glad I didn't. Uh, of Break Media, Senior Vice President of Sales. How How's it going you? so far? It's going well. Thank are you. Are you speaking today or tomorrow? Tomorrow is my panel. Okay. Tomorrow. We're going to warm you up here. How's All right. That? Sounds good. So give me, um, give me a little bit about Break Media because you've got a, you guys cater to a specific demographic and gender for that matter, don't you? We do. We do. We, we focus our business all around men 18 to 34. We run eight websites. We manage a network of 92 others, all focusing on six core genres that men like. Sports, gaming, technology, comedy, music, and lifestyle and entertainment. That's where the women fall in, right? That's it. On the thumb. <laughs> on the thumb. Okay. And when did you guys start up, actually? Was it... Break.com started in 1998. Really? Yeah, it started as bigboys.com back then. Okay. And we relaunched it a few years ago, 95, I mean, uh, 2005. <laughs> okay. And uh, we built out our business really in response to marketers' demand for reaching men in specific genres. At the end of last year, enough of enough brands said to us, I'd really like to meet, uh, um, reach that mixed martial arts enthusiast. Mm -hmm. So we started a site called Cage Potato. So we branched out based on clients' wants. And then the next thing was the, the reach and efficiency of a network. Mm -hmm. We had enough sites coming to us wanting representation, so we built out that network. Okay. So, so we kind of built our business in response to both marketer and audience demand. Well, what's funny, if you think back in 1998, if you're responding to, to folks speaking to you over those first few years, we didn't have social networking out right. and about, so to speak. So how, what was that evolution like to actually go from probably getting, you know, email comments and things like that, and maybe you surveying it, to getting maybe nonstop uh, free data, essentially, right. from right. your consumers? The, the big focus was growing that audience initially. We really, it was all about content that attracted an audience at mm -hmm. that time. Big Boys, as you can imagine, was all about girls and attracting men through mm -hmm. that kind of content. And over time, after we had that audience, it was then going out and talking to marketers about what their needs were in mm -hmm. reaching that audience. And it's difficult, no doubt. User-generated content is tough to monetize. And we've worked with our partners to understand how to really benefit from a tweak. You know, we had to tweak our content. That was the relaunch to break.com. We've partnered with professional producers now, mm -hmm. like the NBA and Sony Pictures. So we're doing a lot more than just user-generated content. So what does what does Web 2.0 mean to you specifically? I mean, it's, it seems like a silly, simple question, but if, if it means uh, something when it, regarding your bottom line, if it means just being right in the ear of the consumer, mm -hmm. what does it mean to you? For us, it really means bringing a quality product to an audience that marketers find valuable for their brands. That's really what it's about. Marketers want to reach an audience, so mm -hmm. Web 2.0 means anywhere and, and anyhow on the Internet, I think, whether mm -hmm. it's social networking, video, editorial, newsletters, any way that they can reach an audience effectively and efficiently is what Web 2.0 is about. So what can you tell uh, the average Joe that doesn't know about the this this focus group, I guess you'd say. What are some specific things that that they say that they definitely want from a consumer side? What do they want? Is it like more of um, one of those channels? Is it something that is a little bit more easy for them to use? What are what are what's some we, we've done that? a lot of research on audience uh, to to understand our audience, and mm -hmm. when it comes to guys, they want short form, funny content really comedy were, were mm -hmm. ranked in up there in terms of comedic sites on the internet they really were and short form is key you mm -hmm. know we're testing long form we're actually one of the distribution partners for hulu uh i mentioned sony pictures we're putting up a library of their long form regular full-length feature full -length films, feature really? films uh, in hd we want to test that with mm -hmm. our audience so so we really understanding what audiences want and and mining that data because that's really what marketers want mm -hmm. to they want to understand the audiences and how their brands are going to be received and perceived 
in that environment. Mm -hmm. So how would how will you then I guess get the metrics on that? How will you say, well, this is during this beta time, this is the feedback that we got, uh -huh. and this is what makes it so we're going to say let's keep pushing the feature films or let's pull back on that. We do we do a lot of studies mm -hmm. both internally and through mm -hmm. third party mm -hmm. measurement companies. Mm -hmm. uh, we did an uh, attitude and usage study that we did with with uh, Holland Partners to understand what audiences really wanted, but we're actually asking our brand partners to <laughs> contribute to some of the research that we ask of our audience. So when we talk to wireless companies, they all have those key questions that they want to understand. You know, what's most important in their in mm -hmm. their device of their cell phone. So we're talking to them about what they want to find out, and then really it's about partnering with the third party measurement companies out there to to understand the data. So I, I was handed this note that says um, some of your newest research said that 70% of men, and maybe you can qu qualify this, 70% of men feel they can't live without the internet. Yeah, that's uh, that came from our, our ANU study, yeah. Put some parameters around that. 70% <laughs> of you men just can't live without it. Like it, women in chocolate or something, right? <laughs> um, they, they really feel that the internet and understanding and, and the media is mm -hmm. important to them. It's it's really if it's television, it's girls, and it's the internet. That's what it's all about <laughs> for them. And do you feel that you guys are doing pretty darn well because you fo you focused on true entertainment and I will say joy or humor for that matter. Yeah. Is is that I mean are you kind of really chiseling out your own spot there? I think I think we're doing well because we're reaching an audience that advertisers really want. Mm -hmm. We. The user-generated content is really hard to monetize. Brands understand that audiences are there, but they're really scared to put their brand next to it. Some are. Mm -hmm. But really what we've done well is partner with our brands to have them reach the audiences in the most effective way and safe way mm -hmm. that they feel comfortable enough to put their brand next. Mm -hmm. And being, being flexible, that's really what, what's made us successful so far. So what would be on the forefront, aside from the, the opportunity to test drive the feature length films, what, mm -hmm. what is... And how far in the future do you look? So what does 09 look like or, or, or 010, 010, 20, oh, That's how you say it. I don't know. Do you say, do you say 010? 010 or 2000? I'm not sure. <laughs> what does 2010 mean to you uh, guys? What's on the forefront? We want to continue to, to evolve. I think original programming will be the next thing. You know, the, a lot Excellent. of the networks are trying to figure that out. ESPN mm -hmm. just launched a show called Main Street with Kenny Main, which... Um, which you know, that's another discussion, but um, <laughs> he's a big brand. ESPN's a big brand. They're putting a lot of promotional yeah. effort behind it to drive it. And, you know, I was just listening to the panel inside about how television dollars are going to migrate, what brands are looking for online. For us, we just want to continue to, to, work with, to work with the brands, expand on our audience. The next site we're launching is called All Left Turns, which is a NASCAR site. Uh, we're going to do a music channel. Excellent. We're going to do a gaming channel. You know, so we're going to continue to grow those core uh, genres for for mm -hmm. brands, and are they exclusively on, online? Or are they actually going to mobile devices as well? Is that we're we're, at, we're working with mobile devices. We have a website for the iPhone. That's, okay, that's killer. It's uh, and so we're we're really trying to be as many places as we can. Excellent. So I would assume that you're gonna stick and stick with this company and enjoy your position for. A while I love it. I love longer. it. It's fun. It's really fun. <laughs> I, I mean, I fit the demographic. I'm a little bit on the outside looking in, but uh, my my. Mindset is still square in the lower end of that. Eighteen. <laughs> still seventeen. Uh, that's right. Dude, Aren't we man. all? We never grow up. Um, but uh, but I'm really having a lot of fun. I have a television background, and that was a great experience. And I love it, and I relate to it. And but here's where it is right now. It's well, excellent. Fun. Break media. Breakmedia.com. Break.com. Break.com. Yeah, is one of the websites. Okay. Yeah. That's the hub. It's the only one you. That's so it. when you guys have to remember, That's it's only it. a couple letters long. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Andrew, thank you so much for thank taking you. the time. I Pleasure. really appreciate it. Are you sticking around for the rest of the Yeah, yeah, I'll be around. You're going to take it in. in and take it yep, all in? I'm going to try. All right. Capitalize, man. All right. Again, you're watching Web2.0.tv. I'm Kimberly Dyke, and we are coming at you from the future of television East, meaning in New York City, the conference for the big brains to tell you what is on the forefront for the future of the tube. We'll be back in just a bit.